Eight months ago, Google Gemini would not show somebody under the age of 18 C++ with concepts. And now we're to believe at the hellish landscape that is engineering at Google, 25% of all new code is produced by AI. This kind of seems like a large number, kind of seems like we're cooked, but I do agree. I do agree we shouldn't be showing them youths this unfiltered C++ code, okay? They're young. They're impressionable. They could be easily swayed into the memory unsafe regions when Rust provides us with all the memory safety we ever needed, with fearless concurrency, with high performance, and everything we've ever wanted, ergonomics. To be real, I can't actually imagine my job just reviewing code. Now, like, I know there's people out there that say that that's their entire job. All they do is review code, but to me, that just sounds awful. I don't want to spend my time doing it, okay? I don't want to just review code from great engineers, let alone AIs. The reality is I want that luscious green field. I want to run in it. I want to be able to establish new projects and do what every single engineer has done from the dawn of time, which is to abandon it shortly after creating it to the elephant graveyard that is GitHub. But I'm positive this caused a bunch of angst amongst the youth, okay? Amongst the engineering crowd. I'm sure there's people out there asking, are we actually cooked? 25% of code is kind of a big number, but don't worry. I think Linus says this best. Yes, when I say Linus, I do mean created Git in five days, Linus. Yes, I do mean Linux was just a pet project, Linus. AI is 90% marketing and 10% reality. And this becomes very apparent. What does 25% of code actually mean? I work for Google and I just got done with my work day. I was just writing, I guess, what you'd call AI generated code. But the code completion engine is basically just good at finishing the lines I'm writing. If I'm writing function git ack, it's smart enough to complete it with git action handler and maybe suggest correct arguments and a decent JS doc comment. So basically it's helpful productivity tool, but it's not doing any engineering at all. It's probably about as good, maybe slightly worse than Copilot. And there there you go, folks. Maybe as good or slightly worse than Copilot. Just an outstanding recommendation. So if I go to my editor right now, type in S, let the completion work, do dot then P, let the completion work, self dot playing. That is 12 characters long, yet I only typed three. Does that mean 75% of all code was generated by my LSP? Technically, yes. Now there's lies, there's damned lies, and then there's statistics. And this is one of those examples of statistics. Yes, if you measured everything out, I bet you more than 25% of code is probably generated by these AIs. But what does it actually mean? It means nothing. This stat is not for you. It is not for me. It's for Wall Street. It's convincing Wall Street that Google actually is at the forefront of AI, which means it is slightly better, as good, or maybe slightly worse than Copilot. That's it. It's for stock price, okay? It's for shareholder value. It's to prove that they actually are investing in what's important, which is AI hype. Now, the reality is, is that, you know, ChatGPT is a really great search tool. It's great at finding sources. It's great at going through nice engineering documents and being able to send you out citations and references when you put in your plain English because you're too stupid to look in the docs yourself. Like, it's actually really, really good for that. But it's not some magic tool that's going to end all of engineering, okay? 25% be damned, okay? Okay, hey, like, sub, goodbye, hey, bye, hey, bye-bye, press those buttons.